Stand by for NASA Administrator Charlie Bolden. Hello there, Doug, and uh, the rest of your crew from Expedition 25. Um, just for the people who may not know, uh, Doug, I know with you there, your crew, Fyodor, Scott, Shannon, Alexander, and Oleg, um, it's a real pleasure for me to be able to join you on this, this uh, great 10th anniversary. I, I cannot help but, but say that watching you all assemble reminded me of some of my rejoins when I was going through flight training and my formation training. So, Scott, you'll, uh, you can probably appreciate that. Um, I want to say to you all how thrilled we are that, um, you know, we're able to join with you just a few hours after we officially celebrated the 10th anniversary of uh, human occupation of the International Space Station. Uh, I always like to tell people that you all are incredible ambassadors as you're there representing just two of the many nations that are partners in the International Space Station. Uh, what you do uh, is actually a modern day Star Trek, if you will. Uh, kids are excited about watching you. Uh, I'm excited and envious about watching my former DPS instructor, Shannon Walker there, as she has lots of fun and looks giddy uh, with the rest of you. Um, more than 196 people, as you all know, have occupied the station uh, since its, uh, its inception back in 2000. And when my friends uh, Bill uh, Shepard and Sergey Krikalov uh, joined their crew member in, in becoming the first people to occupy as the Expedition One crew, um, we never dreamed that we would be where we are today. More than 600 experiments have been conducted there uh, and more than 15 different nations uh, represented by all of you. So let me ask you if, if you have some comments for us, but again, I want to thank you for what you've done. I want to thank you for what you represent and uh, congratulate you on being the, the occupants of the station as we celebrate its 10th anniversary. Well, thank you, General Bolden, and uh, to everyone that's gathered there. It's, it's a real treat to, uh, to be here on the space station. It, it is like a dream come true, and it's uh, every day there's, uh, there's new excitement and new adventure as we, uh, as we venture out in some of the science uh, that, we're, that we're doing. And, of course, uh, being here in space uh, never ceases to amaze us at the surprises it has in store for us. Uh, of course, we have a vehicle we need to maintain and, uh, and science we need to conduct. And so they are busy days, but uh, very, very fruitful days and uh, rewarding days. And uh, it's certainly also just a tremendous pleasure to be working with our, our NASA centers around the world, and our international partners, all the different control centers, uh, of course, our Russian partners. And just it's just a thrill to watch uh, these things unfold. We just had a progress docking a couple of days ago. And uh, it's just, it's just uh, magical the way that it all comes together. And uh, we really appreciate uh, and really can't, it's impossible to do without our ground control teams. Uh, that are working so hard and all of our engineers on the ground and we sure appre appreciate the opportunity to talk to you on this uh, tremendous anniversary and uh, and those that have gone before us and uh, I want we paid tribute to the uh, the Mir station as well uh, just recently and and the uh, and the foundational work that they laid for us those early crews and uh, trying to figure out how to build a spaceship and uh, space station and, and conduct science and uh, bring that science back to Earth so our, our lives uh, will be better on, on our planet as well. Thank you. Thank you. Doug, you know, you mentioned uh, Mir, and in my bag of trivia, uh, I note that on the 25th of October, you all actually eclipse Mir as the, the, the longest continuous inhabited uh, body in space. Uh, at that time, you went over the 3,644-day the mark that had been previously set by the crews that occupied Mir. And, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of mind-boggling when you stop and think about the fact that you've done more than 57,000 orbits of Earth and, uh, and gone, uh, gone 1.5 billion miles. For the statisticians, uh, it gives them something to think about. Um, I guess if you all are probably as excited as we are about the pending launch of Discovery and 133. Uh, just to let you know how things are going here, the crew is doing really well. Uh, I saw Steve Lindsay out running yesterday and told him to be careful because he was out dodging the alligators and the, uh, the wild pigs 
and the cars here at KSC. But uh, we've got a forecast for, for good weather, uh, only a 30% chance of a no-go for weather. Uh, the crews and the, and the work persons down here at KSC really excited about getting Discovery off on its, uh, what is to be its, its final voyage. Um, Discovery is pretty tightly connected to station, I think, as all of you know, because it was uh, after uh, Bill Shepard and Sergey and Yuri Gazenko became the first occupants of the International Space Station, uh, it was Discovery that brought them home. So Discovery has done a number of historic things. I could brag about my involvement with it, but I won't. Uh, Shannon knows about that very well because she prepared me so that I wouldn't screw up the computers. Uh, and hopefully she's proud that she did that. As, and I'm as, I am as proud of her as, uh, as I know she was of me back in those days. But um, Oleg, how's everything going for you? Uh, I think it's going pre perfect now. Uh, a lot of new expressions uh, now. I knew something from our ground uh, trainings, but there are a lot of new on board because not things can be. Uh, <laughs> can be worked out on the ground. Thank you. I think uh, Sergei Krikalov, who's now running uh, uh, GCTC, the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center, and was my crew member on STS-60 and taught me an awful lot, is quite proud of, of all of you there on the station. I don't know whether he's had an opportunity to call and, and wish you a happy anniversary, uh, since it's really his anniversary also, having been a member of uh, the Expedition 1 crew. Um, again, let me, you know, I'm going to get out of your hair here because I know there are news people that are waiting to ask you lots of questions, but uh, I, I want to let you know, you know, you're a part of an amazing legacy uh, there on station. Um, the accomplishments maintaining human presence there are mind-boggling when you really stop and think about it. And the combination, the partnership between the United States, Canada, Japan, Russia, and all the member nations of the European Space Agency are something about which we can all be proud. Uh, you're truly ambassadors. You do more than, uh, than almost any other organization from any of our countries uh, can do in terms of proving that humans can, in fact, get along and coexist and work cooperatively. So uh, again, let me thank all of you for what you have done. Let me thank you for being who you are and for representing your respective nations so well and wish you a happy anniversary. Take care. Thank you, General Bolden, and uh, it, it, you hit the nail on the head. It's a total team effort uh, up here uh, with all of our control centers on the ground, and it's just a, a real privilege to be out here on this station and watch it all come together. It's really, truly the definition of teamwork. Thank you.